Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. It's Amy. I thought I would give you guys a quick little holiday decoration tour while I had everything picked up and ready to go for Christmas. And it is a little dark here. We have an impending snowstorm. So um, yes, the lighting's not that great today, but I do um, decorate with a mixture of vintage and kind of vintage inspired things um, around my coffee table and my entertainment center. And then most of the vintage is over on the other side of the room. So um, this is vintage. This is a tea trivet. Um, I like to use these as coasters. So those are kind of all over my house. And then we've got these cute little glittered vintage inspired deer. I love the sign. I think I picked that up at TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby um, a few years ago. And then this tray back here is vintage. I just love the deer that are all over on that tray. And then this little blow mold plastic deer is one of my favorites in my deer collection. Um, he is definitely vintage. And then I've got a little sparkly bottle brush tree. Vintage doilies, of course. So that's the first table. And then here along my entertainment center, so I've got the Yule log playing on the TV, um, the infamous Target deer from last year, some more bottle brush trees. The sweet little deer plaque was gifted to me by the lovely Cheryl Schultz of Treasures by the Sea this year. And teal is my favorite color. It's all throughout my house. Um, so I have a little tinsel tree here on the side. And then we go this way, and I've got another little vintage inspired deer here and a bottle brush tree. And then let's get up this way. So on top of my kind of DVD hutch here, um, I usually do a display up here and I never do it the same way twice. So along the base here is a vintage tree skirt. Um, I kind of use it more like a tablecloth than actual tree skirt, but I love all the patterns that go around the edge and then right in the center is my largest uh, ceramic tree and it's one of my favorite things to decorate for Christmas and then a lot of the other things that are up here are kind of I called my vintage misfits um, most of them have damage or repairs or missing apart um, but I love them just the same so I, I tend to pick things up even if they're broken um, I just can't resist. So back here we have a vintage inspired, this um, little deer mug here was made by Pottery Barn a few years ago and I've popped a vintage bottle brush tree in there. And then we've got a cutie pie little boot and you can see, um, you'll see that most of these guys have, have some bumps and bruises but that doesn't make them any less cute. And then this giant girl knee hugger I got from Bill of Garden Guy Bill this year. She's so, so cute. Look at her little freckles on her face. I love her. And then these two cutie pies. We're missing the third angel in this set, but these guys are missing wings and they've had head repairs. Um, but I just love these. I just can't resist the vintage ceramics at Christmas time. And then we've got a little candy cane girl, this little Holt Howard. Um, little girl holding her Christmas cake. Um, she has some damage as well, but I just love her. She's so cute. And then these left in green birdies. These are so, so hard to come by. Um, you can see we've got some tail damage. They've got some problems with them, um, but they're so hard to find. I just couldn't resist them. They're so, so cute. We've got a little Napco December month girl. Again, she she has some damage to the poinsettia. She's also missing her umbrella, um, but I just popped a little mini candy cane in there. She works just fine. We've got my little Christmas wiener dog. Um, he says Merry Christmas along the side there. And this piece here is very dear to me. Um, it is a Holt Howard um, ermine angel and it was gifted to me by um, my friend Mike Masters um, whom I used to do estate sales for so he gifted that to me before he passed away um, last year and then this little Napco girl was actually given to me for free um, at a Salvation Army um, I asked to look at it in the case and saw that her wings were broken off and they just gave it to me for free so that was a fun little addition this year 
I have this putz style little house here um, that does have a hole in the back where you could pop in a light. And I've just filled it with some of that fake snow stuff. And I had these little miniature vintage sweaters and I always just display them in there because I think they're, they match pretty good. I've got a vintage inspired bottle brush tree back here in the back. So that's that display there. So now I wanna show you my Christmas tree. Now typically I do put up an aluminum tree. However, we just got a new puppy named Maisie this year. So I was worried about her chewing on the aluminum tree. So I decided it was probably best not to put it up this year. Um, but I did put up what I like to call um, my husband and I's nostalgia tree. So it is covered with kind of stuff we all like, vintage inspired, vintage um, stuff from our childhood, some of our childhood ornaments, some handmaids, um, stuff like that throughout the tree. Um, and I just got this new, new vintage um, star topper. I have never had one that's lighted up before. Um, so yeah, that was good because I like to decorate with the gold um, kind of lights there. So I want to show you throughout the tree here. Of course, I've got got a vintage Santa peeking out and a vintage knee hugger elf. And I love these little wood ornaments um, from my childhood, the little birdie nest and Santa and his reindeer. And of course, there's going to be mushrooms throughout the tree. Um, I just love vintage mushrooms. We've got deer, of course. Um, this is actually uh, something I made when I was a kid. It's a little clothespin snowman. Um, isn't his hat and his little scarf funny? And then we go down in here. We do have some vintage inspired, another birdie. Of course, Bambi's got to be on here. We've got Smurfette and uh, we've got another Smurf on here somewhere. There's Garfield. I like sewing. So that's a cute little handmade ornament there. And I just got this adorable yellow little birdie ornament from Sarah of the Traveling Button. So dang cute. And we've got a vintage Bambi flocked ornament. We've got a Rudolph ornament. Little kitties and deer. I think Sarah gave me that little, that little dude down there this year too. Some more vintage inspired. We've got another deer. My husband loves Ninja Turtles. And these were always a favorite. I had actually, when I was a kid, I had a large collection of these kind of like jumpers. You pull the string down and they move. Um, I had a large collection of these as a child. And um, I actually kept these two because I have an orange one here and I've got a gray one here that look like my two kitties. And then we've got a little wooden runner girl ornament for me. And this is a new addition this year, Puppy's First Christmas, because we just got the new puppy. Um, this is a handmade ornament um, from Supa. I will pop her Instagram in there. She makes a fabulous, fabulous um, animal things. And I got this from her at the Detroit Urban Craft Fair last year. And this is another handmade ornament here. Um, look at the cute little vintage um, inspired little ornament box with the deer in there. My friend and neighbor Jody um, made that. I got that from her last year. And we've got a little Nabco deer that's popping out of the chimney. Strawberry shortcake, one of my personal favorites. Let's go down in here. We've got Santa peeking out. This is a handmade um, ornament here. Some more vintage inspired. I love these kind of things that I, some of them are handmade that people have made that I've picked up. Some I've picked up at stores over the years, but I just like the style of them, even though the, they're not true vintage. And then this is funny. This is a, my husband has a man crush on the rock, so he's always got to go on the tree. We've got some more deer peeking out. We're big University of Michigan fans. Here is another, um, this is a handmade ornament that I actually made when I was a kid. Um, actually, funny story is that I used to do craft shows with my mom when I was a kid and she would always have me make like these little ornaments and stuff to sell before Christmas time. We typically would have a craft show um, the day after Thanksgiving. So we would always spend Thanksgiving day crafting, crafting, crafting. Um, so these are little possums, little pom pom possums hanging off of a candy cane. A little bit of my childhood there. 
And we've got a cute little kitty that looks like queso. Um, childhood ornaments, these little clip-on animals. I have a few throughout the tree. Um, they just clip on. Those were always on my childhood tree. Growing up. And then we have another wood. I love these wood ornaments. Bicycle built for two. And then this is really special to me. Um, this was a gift, a little pop-out um, ornament card from my grandma that I got probably when I was a teenager. So I always put that on my tree. And then we've got some paper mache mushrooms. And there's another Smurf hanging out. That's a childhood ornament. There's another one of those clip-ons. And we've, we've got a vintage Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ball. I love these spun cotton balls with the little plastic overlay on them. They're some of my favorites. And this is a handmade ornament that I got from Stephanie of Vintage Freak 32. Her first, um, her first division of these, um, she's, she's actually making them still just, they're just so different. This is like one of her first generation ones. So I'm happy to own one of those. Here's another cutie handmade ornament. This one's handmade too. Of course, we've got some more mushrooms. This is the only glass ornament that is on this tree. I try not to put anything that is breakable on this tree just because, um, well, I do have two naughty cats. So the chance that this actually falls over, um, you know, is pretty slim to none, but you know, just in case, so that's why I try and have everything that's on here to be non-breakable. So that's my tree. And then lastly, um, this is my favorite thing to put together and decorate, and I never do it the same way twice. So the base here is actually my grandma's um, pull-out buffet table. So stored in the bottom of it, there's a bunch of leaves, like this piece of furniture is super heavy. And um, so you pull, you pull this top part out where the handles are, and then you can pop in a bunch of leaves, and then you have an instant buffet table. Um, so that's a piece of my grandma's furniture. So I always do my, my biggest display on top of here. Um, so this year I did bring in a lot of my deer, um, but I did it totally different than I did last year. So up here, um, this is not a vintage wreath. Um, I actually purchased this with the intention of adding some more ornaments and things to it. Um, I just haven't got to it yet. So um, this cute little vintage card that's peeking out here again was a gift from Cheryl Schultz of Treasures by the Sea. She always sends me the cutest dear greeting cards because you guys know I love greeting cards. Um, she always sends me really cute ones every year. Um, so I loved that one just popped up there, the little deer peeking out the window. All right, so let's get into this. All right, so I'm gonna start down here. So here, this is a vintage childhood ornament that the hanger has actually broken off of. Um, but this is always on my childhood tree. It's a little sewing machine. You guys know I'm a sewer. Um, sewing little Santa's suit there. I love the little, the little thread. So cute. And then um, all along the bottom here, I do have some vintage greeting cards. This is a new one I picked up this year. I love that. How cute. Um, this is one of my favorites here with the glitter on it and the baby and mama deer. This is another card that Cheryl has sent me. This is one that she sent me this year. And then we've got a little sleepy angel gal and her dear friend. And here's another one. And a vintage carded um, jingle bells. I love these um, new old stock kind of things. When I come across them, they're just fun to display like that. And we've got a Holt Howard, little angel gal. I love her. She has kind of a um, flocked dress and I love the little shimmery accents that she has and she is a choir gal. We've got a vintage bottle brush tree. It's really hard to see. I'm sorry the lighting is so poor in here today. Um, the snow has started too, but there is mercury glass beads all through the middle of that tree and it's covered with glitter. And then we've got a little rubber face deer here and a Christmas card file box. I have a large collection of these. Um, and uh, I have a, a new one that I added. I'll get to that toward the end. Um, but I do love collecting these. They're the same size as a recipe card box, but they're meant for your Christmas card list. And they come in so many different styles and graphics. Um, I think I have six 
all together, but I decided to just do two this year and pull them down. Um, these are some cutie pie little deer salt and pepper shakers. We've got a little denison reindeer peeking out. This was gifted to me last year by the lovely Laura um, on Pibsy on Instagram. She gifted that to me. And this flocked dancing reindeer, one of my favorite things. Um, I bought this on Instagram several, several years ago. I cannot for the life of me remember who I bought that from. But um, he is flocked, um, and he's just dancing away. These little vintage presents are attached to his base here. I love him. He's one of my favorite things. Um, so I didn't get to put up my big tree, but I do have my tabletop plume aluminum tree, which is one of my favorite things. Um, you guys have seen this in the background of my live sales um, for the past couple months, but... This one is the only tree that I actually get to put vintage glass bulbs on because the cats don't get up here, um, knock on wood. <laughs> they don't ever get up here. Um, so I feel safe enough to be able to put some vintage bulbs on here. And the vintage um, indent bulbs are my favorite, favorite kind. So I have a lot of Polish and German ones. Um, I do have a couple little shiny braids that are tucked around in there too that aren't in dents, um, but I, I do like shiny braids too. So that's a cute little aluminum tree I picked up at an estate sale. And then um, there's some mercury bead garland that's tucked around the base of the tree. There's so much stuff, you guys. It, it, it is um, a little hard to talk about everything when I'm looking at it this way. So we've got a set of three little miniature reindeer ornaments. And I have a large mercury glass um, garland that goes throughout the whole thing. Um, there are a couple pop bulbs and things on there, but you know what? I don't mind those so much. Um, it just gives some personality. And this guy came down from my deer collection upstairs. We've got a Brad Keeler from the 1940s. Little deer there. There's a little blown glass mushroom. I have a jar full of vintage bulbs got a teeny tiny little white deer. Here's another vintage card from my collection. We have another ceramic tree here. And then this Christ deer I picked up this year um, from Molly of Two Good Friends Vintage. And then this Christ reindeer here I got last year from Michael at the Cult of Vintage. And one of my favorite things is this dear music box. Sarah of the Traveling Button gifted this to me for Christmas last year. I just love that. It is very hard to come by that particular music box. And we've got um, a little vintage miniature candy box. I love to tuck in those kind of things as little risers just to give things a little bit more height. Here's a vintage bottle brush here um, with mercury glass on the top, glitter, garland, little mini bells and berries. Very, very cute. Uh, and here we have my favorite deer in my collection. Um, if you guys don't know what these are, these are the Lefton Rudolph pieces. Um, so we've got the child's mug and bowl set and the salt and pepper shakers. Um, I love these, they are very, very hard to come by. There are a few other pieces that I'm missing. Um, I'm still looking to add to this, this particular collection, um, but I only get these guys out at Christmas time. Um, I really should think of a display where I can leave them out year round because they're so darn cute. But they're just definitely some of my favorites in my collection. We have two little miniature Napco deer down here with another little mushroom. And then let's go up here. My teeniest, tiniest little Rudolph down there. Um, I pull him out of my deer collection upstairs every year. We've got two um, Joseph Originals little deer here. This teeny tiny one I actually picked off of David of Junk Drunk Mantique's little miniature shelf when I went out to visit them in July. Um, they let us pick something out to take home and that was what I picked and then I've got another little hard plastic cutie pie back there there's another dear vintage greeting card um, we've got a little miniature vintage tinsel tree with mercury glass beads on the end um, I did get this from Julie 
at uh, the vintage parrot on Instagram. And then we have this awesome uh, Bill of Garden Guide. Bill sent this to me as a gift this year. Um, and it's a little vintage planter and an actual plant. Uh, that's an air plant that he sent me. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can keep that alive. Um, with a little pixie peeking out. And he even tucked in some little mushrooms in there. And the cute little deer friend. Love that. Thank you, Bill. We've got two more vintage bottle brush trees. This one here um, does have some mercury beads tucked in there. I've got a little miniature white deer. I just got those from Michael of the Cult of Vintage. Um, and then we've got... A Napco little reindeer. Um, this is a candle holder piece, and there is a matching piece that goes with him. It is Santa Claus, and typically they would be chained together. However, I found him by himself, and he does have uh, a neck repair there, which I don't mind so much. Um, but I am looking for Santa. I would really like to reunite them. And then here's another Christmas card list. Um, I picked this up from Misty, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, this year. And then um, I treated myself. I found another Christ reindeer. Um, they're, they're very, very hard to come by um, and pretty pricey if you try and find them online. So I found him at an antique place in Indiana. So I decided to treat myself to another reindeer. All right, you guys, that is everything on my little Christmas display for this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoyed seeing all my fun decorations this year and uh, have a Merry Christmas. Bye guys.